All right, so uh, headed to Sedona, Arizona today, leaving Las Vegas. And <laughs> to be honest with you, this is like the most lame Vegas trip I've ever had, or time I've been here, even when I was living here. Um, I did nothing. I stayed in the hotel and actually edited video. At the same time, it was like, I think I needed a few days just to relax. I've been going for like three weeks straight and you know, kind of like on the road. So it was nice to just kind of chill and relax for a few days. But the reason I didn't film anything here in on the Vegas part was because I literally did nothing. Uh, yesterday, I didn't even leave the hotel except for to go to the car once. So, and I didn't even leave to get food or anything like that. I just had a sandwich that I had in the, in the uh, hotel refrigerator. So I didn't even do anything in Vegas on this trip. Uh, the first night I went out for like maybe an hour and just kind of walked around and went to the link, went to Caesars, did that thing, got a bite to eat, but that was it. So I'll be coming back next week and having a little more fun and doing some uh, some fun stuff for the channel. So, um, I, I mean, I've lived here on and off for 15 years, so I know a lot of the fun places and the good local places to go. So I'll be doing that. And for now though, I'm off. It is Wednesday morning, about 1040, and I'm off to Sedona to meet my friends. And we're gonna camp there until Saturday. And then Sunday, um, Saturday, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do Saturday night, but then Sunday, I'm going to uh, come back to Vegas probably for most of the week and kind of get caught up on everything with as far as video editing, like I said, and then uh, head out on the next trip, which I'm not sure. I might go to Lake Tahoe for a little bit, might go back up to Utah, not quite 100% sure yet, but I will keep you posted. And uh, so now off to Sedona. Uh, first stop is Kingman, Arizona to charge up. I may actually stop at the one prior to that because it's a, a 250 kilowatt charger where Kingman's only 120 kilowatts. So I may stop at the one prior to that. I think it's called White Hills. And then from there, um, uh, I don't know, I'll have to see how far I can make it. So it should be about a five and a half, six hour ride. Probably add in about an hour in there with charging and maybe about six and a half. So uh, I will keep you posted along the way. And just leaving Vegas, going past the uh, new Raider Stadium. And headed out of town, gonna run to Target, grab some supplies for the camping trip in Sedona this weekend with some friends, and then get out of town. at the White Hills Arizona Supercharger. Should be coming up here in about, oh, in a minute now. In fact, it's probably right here. Yeah, I can see that. I can see a Model 3 over there charging. Now turn right onto West White Hills Road. Gonna, this is a 250 kilowatt charger, so it made more sense to me to get a quick fill up here and then see if I even need to stop in Kingman or if I could go all the way on to I guess the Flagstaff one uh, right before you get to Sedona so we will see here in a minute um, now you have arrived at your destination yeah we'll see uh, we'll see how far we can get after a charge here All 
All right, so it's going up in uh, kilowatts here. We're at over 160, up to one, almost 170 now. And uh, again, we're not gonna, I doubt we're gonna stay for the whole thing. Um, like I said, it usually starts to, the curve starts to really slow once it gets to about 70, 80%. Probably stick around here for maybe about 20, 15, 20 minutes. There's a subway here, so I'm gonna run inside, uh, grab a sub for later for lunch that I can put here into the fridge freezer and um, then on to Sedona. So I should be able to see how far in a minute, how far we need. Let's actually check and let's put in uh, Sedona. So we're right here. Here's Kingman, there's Flagstaff and then there's Sedona. Uh, let's see, yeah, there is a Flagstaff one. So let's see how far to this one, 165 miles. Well, we may be able to do that <laughs> in one shot, but we for sure should be able to do this one. Oh, it's only three mile difference. So 162 to Flagstaff, we'll probably plan on that since that's 150 kilowatt. Right now, yeah, it's only 72 kilowatt in Sedona. So we definitely want to probably go to Flagstaff. So we need 162 miles. Oh, it's telling us still to go to Kingman. Yeah, we'll figure it out and then go from there. All right, just charging up here in uh, White Hills, Arizona. See it, Shell Station, Subway, everything. So not bad, pretty nice. All right, so sorry about the wind. I have the Jackery plugged in. It's getting about 75 watts right now. It's just plugged into the 12 volt back here. And so that's been charging for a little bit since I left, uh, maybe an hour ago. So it's gone up about uh, 8%. Oh, it actually was at 51%, I think, when I left. So about 16% in the last, I don't know, hour, hour and a half. So not bad. Got all my crap back here right now. So it's actually just a lot of stuff with barely anything under it. Um, but uh, it says 30 minutes remaining to get to 100%. We will probably only stay till about, I don't know, probably till about 90%. So it's at 77 right now. All right, so as you can see here, <clears throat> we're leaving the uh, White Hills charger. We charged up to 91% and we're gonna head to Kingman. It says we only need to charge for five minutes. Um, we'll probably charge for about 20 minutes because we got the roof rack and the cargo box again. So. Um, and then that should give us plenty to get to Flagstaff. So only about 15 minutes more charging and that should at least get us to Flagstaff, if not all the way to Sedona. I saw you from across the room. We're getting off here in about two miles, taking a left, going to the Kingman, Arizona supercharger for 10 to 15 minutes and then should be good to go to at least get to Flagstaff if not to Sedona itself. Alright so this is the first one I've gotten to where they're all full. Um, let's see any other ones. Actually, could do this. I don't know how fast these are, but these are a little different. All right, so here at the uh, supercharger, uh, a little different here. charge there was none as you can see all the ones over there the regular ones are all taken um, all right, let's go at 56 so I'm gonna have 67% so that's about normal 
So, I don't know, we'll sit around for about 15 minutes. Okay, so just finishing up charging here in uh, Kingman, Arizona. So, headed to Flagstaff first. I'll go there. If I can go farther, I'll just go on to Sedona. But otherwise, go to Flagstaff. There's going to be... So as you can see, it's a hundred. It's a 147 miles to Flagstaff, and I have 90%. Or, as we can see here, distance 293 miles, and I only need what did I say? 147. So I got double. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off and uh, get there, and hopefully have some fun. Okay, just pulling into the Flagstaff supercharger. Should be in a couple in a minute or two. Five hundred feet. Turn left onto South Woodlands Village Boulevard. Now your destination is on the right. Yeah, quite a few cars here. All right, so here at Sedona, as you can see, charging is going up. I believe this is 150 kilowatt. Uh, we were down to 18% when we got here from, I guess that was from Kingman. It said we would have about 22 to 24, I think. Ended up with 18, so not too far off. Again, as I've said a million times, the cargo box is gonna definitely take some off of that. Uh, even though it tries to take into that, take that into consideration, it still always uh, thinks that it'll have a little bit more. So I always try to leave like a 10% reserve just in case. So if I wanted to go all the way up, it's gonna be about 55 minutes, probably more like 45. I'm not gonna do that. I'll probably do more like 25, 30 minutes, then go, and then we're headed off to Sedona next and I think actually if I fill up or if I charge up now then I don't even need to go down to the Sedona, Sedona one probably for a couple days so I may just stay an extra like 15-20 minutes and just do it here so uh, that's about it um, I'll update you once I get to the campground and have a little bit of time to do that so gonna be meeting up with some friends so whenever I get a chance I'll definitely try to update you guys on what's uh, what's up and what we're planning for the next few days. All right, so just an update on the Jackery. It's back here, it's plugged into the 12 volt into the back of the car. The, the uh, fridge is parked into the one up front, but it is at 83%, it was at 51% when we left. So, I don't know, a couple hours later uh, at 83%. So I will keep that uh, keep that charged up till I get to the campground and then should be good to go. And then, and then tomorrow I'll use solar all day and you know we'll cook and use all that stuff and uh, be able to you know, charge it right back up in the sun. All right, we're about 16 miles away, or 11 miles, 16 minutes from the campground, kind of in the Sedona area, just south of Flagstaff. I've been feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. sound like Alan from The Hangover, but... How about that ride in? 
to the campground. They must have got a good campground. Alright. I uh, do not need to turn around. We're sure the camera's only. Okay. Whoa. Crap. Okay. Look. Break for snakes, it said. coming back to a familiar spot we are back at the Flagstaff supercharger here at the uh, Marriott All right, so uh, kind of give you guys an update. So camping has been going great for the last few days and just hanging out with my uh, friend and his family. And uh, we have the spot till it was Wednesday through Saturday. And then I'm gonna stay an extra day uh, and then I'm going back to Vegas for uh, a week. Um, I need to catch up on editing. Man, it's a lot of work. <laughs> so I need to catch up on editing and I'm gonna spend the week in Vegas doing that. Uh, maybe go to a show, you know, go out and get a nice couple nice steak dinners, things like that. So I'm going to do that. Um, I just woke up, so kind of all crazy looking. But um, so, yeah, I drove uh, about 20, 20 minutes up to the Flagstaff Supercharger. It's here at the Marriott, which is actually really nice. I was going to maybe stay here tonight, but it is uh, $240 or something like that. Um, for like a residence in Marriott, I don't know. It, it just didn't seem worth that. Um, and it was $20 extra for a night at the uh, campsite. So uh, while I definitely was gonna split things up, you know, throughout the weeks and stay at some hotels and Airbnbs and things like that, I wanna use them for like unique places, not just random, you know, $200 a night uh, Marriott's and stuff. So um, didn't really make sense to do that here. And so uh, and then on Sunday, like I said, I'll head back to Vegas for the week. And uh, But yeah, otherwise everything's going well and enjoying ourselves. We're going to head down to the river today, do a little swimming. And I'm not filming anything there because they're not, they don't want to be part of this or anything like that. It's just, you know, I'm just spending time with my friends and, their, and his family. And so, uh, you know, I try to update when I can. 
I'll probably film some stuff on like Saturday afternoon after they leave uh, at the campsite. So uh, show you guys where I was staying and stuff like that. I'll throw some pictures in too. But otherwise, um, it says I'm gonna to get to 100%. I need to stay for 45 minutes. It's at 85 kilowatts right now. Um, I'm actually probably will stay for the full amount. Uh, one because I have some other things to do. Two, I just want to make sure that I have enough. Uh, well, I'll have plenty uh, for the next two days. Uh, I went when I got there. Uh, when I left the supercharger on Wednesday, I left with 90%, 90 or 91. And then it was down to, when I got here, it was down to 51, 52. Um, that includes a little driving around. And then also uh, just uh, um, using climate control basically the whole time. So um, yeah, I was looking at probably like seven to 10% per night. But then if you keep it going during the day too, um, then you know, you're know you obviously, you're, you're looking at probably like 1% per hour, something like that, maybe a little less than that. And uh, as far as using climate control or camp mode, same thing. So, yep, gonna sit here, charge to 100%, take care of a few business things I need to on my laptop. And uh, I might even go and take a shower they have showers that are actually not too bad at the campsite. They're $4, you get eight minutes, and then uh, it's, they're actually pretty nice. But I might, if there's an Anytime Fitness around here, I might actually go do that, just get a quick shower in that way. So, All right, so uh, decided to go to the supercharger like you just saw, and then head over to uh, Anytime Fitness here in Flagstaff and get in a shower. Definitely needed to do that. So uh, took one yesterday, but it was just like, it's so dusty out there at the campsite that it's uh, it's nice to be able to just go anywhere pretty much in the country and take a shower. So so did that real quick and uh, gonna grab a few supplies and then head back to the camp now. And I'll update you um, tomorrow when they take off and I'll kind of show you a little bit of the campsite and uh, a little bit about the area. Sunday and uh, we just left Flagstaff I charged up uh, there and unfortunately there were two people that were in the supercharging area that were in regular gas engine cars blocking people from charging which uh, is really kind of a move to be quite honest uh, you can't really get much more move than that because that'd be like me that'd be like a gas station being in the same parking lot as the hotel work where the chargers work and then me just me and my friends parking in front of all the spots so that you couldn't you couldn't gas up and go to your next destination so imagine having to wait around four or five six hours because uh somebody wouldn't let you get gas uh, because they're too much of a to care but uh you know i don't know there's, this world is filled with idiots like that so um <laughs> 
I did end up charging there, ended up uh, I'm probably about 20 minutes from there, headed to Kingman, Arizona. We'll get a little charge there and maybe to White Hills, but otherwise on to Vegas. So going back to Vegas, like I mentioned, for uh, about a week and just gonna hang out there, uh, do laundry, uh, you know, wash the car, just do a bunch of stuff around town and also just gonna spend the week relaxing besides that, like at night just going out a little bit and having a little fun. So had a blast, really loved the Sedona uh, Flagstaff area. It was kind of, the campsite was kind of in between the two. So really enjoyed ourselves. Uh, my friends left yesterday and then uh, I just left, like I said, this early this morning, got up at like 5.15. Um, went to Anytime Fitness, took a shower real quick, and then hit the road. So, um, having a blast so far on the trip. Can't wait to see what adventure is next, and uh, I'll keep you posted. Mm -hmm.